Hey, welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to do a quick video on financial modeling prep. I'd been looking for an API to integrate into Google Sheets where I've got my uh, valuation template that I use. And um, I'd been looking for something to be able to integrate it to where I could just kind of change the ticker and everything could auto update it. So finally got to that point and um, I've been using financial modeling prep for that service for about a month now, something like that. And it's pretty sweet. Um, so I wanted to share that with you. Uh, if you look at the current like template that I have, I'll just kind of go over this real quick. Um, so this is the evaluation sheet, but then I've got basically um, income statement data that I'm gathering from financial modeling prep. I've got a balance sheet, I've got free cash flow, uh, ratios, metrics, a growth percentage, and those are mainly what I'm gathering. All the data is imported right here through a pretty simple formula, which you can see right here. I'm grabbing the previous 40, 40 quarters of data um, for these charts, and then I'm also grabbing uh, the previous 10 years of data. So we have a quarterly metric and then a yearly metric that we're going off of for these growth numbers, and basically the same thing for the other sheets as well. Um, here we have, uh, let's see, ratio numbers. Uh, we've, I'm querying the symbol here. Here we've got, um, let's see, key metrics that I'm going off of or that I'm graphing out as well. So all of these charts are basically coming from uh, that data that I'm getting from financial modeling prep. Uh, free cash flow statement. You can see all the data there. Um, and this is kind of cool where you can validate the data and it actually has links to uh, the SEC filings. So you can just click on the link and go through and get the 10Ks, 10Qs, whatever it is, um, and validate that data. So it's pretty nice, uh, pretty seamless. Um, have to be careful with uh, these type of APIs because you want to make sure that the data is accurate. So usually I just use this as a brief tool for scanning. Um, and looking over metrics, and then I will uh, uh, kind of do a, a more thorough look through the company um, if I'm interested in it. So uh, that's the quick overview of my sheet, how I have this working. Um, so you're gonna need a financially uh, financial modeling prep account. Their main website is right here. Uh, Site.financialmodelingprep.com. You can go to developers home um you can log in right here uh the pricing right now let's see where it's at uh, they do have a free service um i signed up with the free service just to test out the functionality uh with google sheets kind of what it was like but really to do any type of data gathering you really have to have pretty much the starter service um the free service is just not enough uh api calls per day um, you know, 250 a day versus 300 a minute. Uh, and you don't get like quarterly data. Um, there's a lot of stuff that you don't get with the free service. So I tested out with the free service and then I signed up for the starter for 19 a month, um, for just one month to see what is actually going to look like. Um, once you have an account, you can basically just click on this dashboard button and it's going to have your API key. So once you have your API key, you can go over to Google Sheets, extensions, add-ons, uh, get add-ons. Uh, it's super simple, uh, which I like because I'm not super good at programming or anything. So financial modeling prep right there. This is the add-on. You can install it. And then once you install it, you will go to extensions, uh, financial modeling prep, um, and then just enter it click enter API key and you'll enter your API key from your um, dashboard uh, into the Google Sheet. That'll link it to where you have the uh, query data. So if you do equal FMP, you'll see all of the things available. Um, so once that is done, you can start gathering income statement uh, data, balance sheet, free cash flow, different metrics using these um, formulas. So, uh, yeah, FMP income statement, and then A110. So, 
it's just referencing the ticker and then it's saying uh, 10 data points. If you don't have a quarter defined, it defaults to year. So I'm getting yearly data and then quarterly data. Um, and then I'm just compiling that data to create all of these graphs and then also to auto populate all of the data that I need into my evaluation sheet. So doing that, I can pretty easily uh, go through various companies and just get a sense of uh, not only their financials, um, but also the evaluation that I might apply to them. And I need to create more evaluation models for different types of companies. Um, and that's just going to be a ongoing experience. You know, I'll probably have one for banks. Um, I'll have one for tech, uh, maybe unprofitable small caps, um, just various companies. So yeah, just wanted to share that with everybody. It's, a, uh, it's pretty great. Um, and once you do it, it's like, it's pretty seamless to get the graphs how you want them as well. Let's do income data. Then we're going to select all that data from date all the way down to here, just to where the before the SEC filings go. We're going to click graph, bum, bum, bum. and then you can edit this around. I've already gotten I got my my other ones edited around. Um, I want to remove that. I want to remove uh, this. I want to remove that. Remove filing date. I'm going to remove all these. Period. What I really just want is the calendar year. Um, and then what I can do is remove all series, then add series. And let's say I want to look at revenue, uh, gross profit, and oh, I don't know. Uh, EBITDA. There we go. Quickly, we have a graph. Oh, and we're going to also do this. Dun, dun. Reverse axis order. There you go. Got your graph. So it's really easy to comb through the data in a graph form and just select the key metrics that you want. Um, I highly recommend if you're looking for something, uh, check it out. It's pretty nice. Um, it's basically replaced my ticker subscription. Um, and it's really nice to be able to have all this data kind of instantaneously, and then also be able to integrate it seamlessly into any type of valuation model that you're doing. Um, if you're building it out in Google Sheets, like a DCF or whatever. Also, I am going to make this uh, this template available in in the Discord. So if you want to check out the template, use it for a reference just for using a financial modeling prep. Um, I strongly encourage you to create your own evaluation templates that go off your own personal evaluation style. Um, but if you want to check out this template, uh, it will be linked in the Discord. So check that out. You will have to enter an API key. So you'll have to have your account and you have to, you'll have to have your own API key for it to work. So yeah, just want to share that and uh, we'll catch you later.